Hi, uh, my name's Jack, and I've got a few pieces in the show, either painting or sculpture, and a couple of prints. Um, I'm not sure which are going to make it down to the London right. side of it, but we'll wait and see. <laughs> and can you tell us a bit about some of the pieces that we might be seeing here in London? Sure. Um, I guess they sort of originated from a body of work I was making about a year ago. Um, and I suppose a lot of those ideas have developed quite a lot from that, but uh, essentially it's to do with the, um, the idea of gesture or material instances in the city, um, looking specifically at social space and architecture as a point of departure. And would these be kind of accidental gestures, um, sort of contingent gestures? Are these, can you tell us a bit more? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think um, these kind of inadvertent ways that material are deployed. I mean, I'm specifically interested in things like um, the act of painting out shop windows mm -hmm. when they're sort of going through a um, sort of difficult economic patch. And I'm, I'm interested in how these motifs can be kind of used to kind of really disguise or explore a whole way that the um, the economics or politicization of space is being played out and seeing if to embody these gestures or to use them in another way to propose um, those kind of ways of thinking or those sort of politicizations within the work. And there's sort of quite a grammar of the sort of hardware store in yeah. here. So the gaffer tape, um, you know, the silicon that one would get out of a kind of injected tube bit. Can you tell us a bit about this? Is it because it's just a hand? Because it somehow suits the sort of urban environment you're interested in exploring. Yeah. Perhaps could you expand on this a little bit? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, I mean, you're right. It is sort of what, what is materially mm -hmm. available. And I think because of that, it sort of begins to form quite close relationships to objects and situations that are found in the real world. Mm -hmm. And I am, I'm interested in these sort of things and how they become aesthetically available. Mm -hmm. and perhaps how those aesthetics aren't just sort of mirrored directly from a fine art or painting context mm. or perhaps has a relationship with situations that occur in the real world. And can you tell us a bit about where you studied um, and where I'm mean, you still studying? You... Yeah, um, I'm just doing my second year at painting at the RCA. Um, so the degree show is coming up in not okay. too long. Um, and um, I guess a sort of bolt onto that question. Um, how's being in new contemporaries um, changed things for you? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of early to say, really. Um, I, I mean, I have a curatorial practice alongside this, mm. and it's been really great to explore some of those ideas with an event that um, hopefully be taking place very early next year with mm. um, a project called Open File. Mm -hmm. So it's been great to kind of work with um, New Contemporaries and ICA on something like that. And what is this event? Can you tell us a little bit more about it, or is it still in the planning? Yeah, um, no, I mean, it's pretty much there. Um, but I guess, I guess Open File sort of looks at ways in which um, ideas or artworks are collected together to fulfill a curatorial remit mm -hmm. um, for the duration of an event, and then how subsequently as they you know, take the form of printed material mm. or an online database, they disperse and new relationships are forged between their parts. Um, so this event specifically kind of looks at the relationship between um, man and its digital environments and how these kind man of... Man as in humanity. Humanity, yeah. Than a man, yeah, yeah. A man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not just one guy, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this, the, the way that is physical bodies you relate to a virtual world. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you very much.